What's going down everybody? Sarius here. Hope you guys are rocking steady, not only just in the gaming world, but also in your real lives as well. Still got the cold, still got an awful sore throat, but I'll tell you what guys, we gotta press on because we have a lot of time to catch up for. So everyone, I want to thank everybody again for all your patience and all of your support. Really means the world to me. We're gonna be rocking out West London Wave 10 of 10 as a medic showcasing the Schneidzek. I hope I pronounced that correctly. If I didn't, I apologize. But uh, again, my German is not where it should be. So real life counterpart, what is the weapon and why does this rock so hard? It's actually called the Chris Vector in real life. It has an extremely fast fire rate. But in this game, although it does have a very hefty bill of 1300 pounds, in my opinion, I think it's totally worth it. It weighs in at three slots. And oh my gosh, this thing has a 50 round magazine. It is freaking rocking, dude. And you're going to see some showcase of really how reliable this weapon is in battle. If you guys have ever played Counter-Strike, if you've ever been into the whole 1.6 source and or even go, uh, the Ump 45 is a pretty close indicator of how this weapon feels. It's very tight. It's got a very like low like recoil bloom. And in my opinion, it's just one of those things that if you are a hip fire aficionado, you've played FPS games before and you can twitch shot, this gun is going to be for you. You, can, you. you literally, I can't even begin to tell you just how pleased I am with this weapon and how Tripwire has gone ahead and created another medic weapon. We have literally unlimited heals now with the inclusion of the MP7, the MP5, the new M7 Alpha 3 or something. I can't remember what it is. I never use it, but it's supposedly it's a pretty decent, solid, reliable weapon. But in addition with that, with the Chris Vector, I mean, you have literally four weapons at your disposal, all very lightweight, very fast and very mobile that can take this class, the medic class, which is originally kind of like a support role and shift them up and make them a little more versatile on the battlefield to be more of that point man. You can see that I'm actually taking lead a little bit more than usual. The reason why is because of the added speed. I don't think there's been any changes to the well, you know, player speed of the medic, but I'll tell you what, you know, mopping things up with this awesome hand cannon. It's actually called, I guess, the Executioner. I was kind of confused about this myself in game. I figured I didn't know if this was official DLC, but I think uh, because of the server I was playing on, which is Puppy's Bungalow, it kind of customized the standard hand cannon to call it the executioner with the gold plate kind of like the gold dlc i haven't gotten that yet but it does look pretty awesome to be having such a nice uh you know kind of like an ornate weapon it's, it's, it's kind of interesting so i might might be getting that in the future but we'll see how that goes but uh, everybody i hope you all are having an awesome christmas break i know for some of you guys that are going to school it's always good to kind of kick back and relax a little bit I know coming from personal experience of having a really tough semester with some pretty less than desirable teachers that uh, sometimes the stress level can go up pretty high. So I definitely uh, just want to say I, ho I hope everybody's going to be ready for an awesome holiday as we approach a brand new year as well. Hopefully a new start. You guys have some awesome resolutions and good things happen. I'm sorry if my voice sounds totally gravelly, but I'm trying my very best to press on. I know we got to make up for a lot of lost time, but look at, look at the reliability of this SMG dudes, it mops things up very fast. And when you fire it, it just, it sounds tight. I love the way it sounds. Just got a nice weapon to it. I back it up with a an aim point attached to my MP5 here. Again, there's no like scope customization. I would love if they had an option to customize your sights. If you wanted to go for a four time sight, or if, even if you wanted to go ahead, you know, and, and switch out to a reflex, it'd be really cool if that was an addition that, you know, maybe even a modder that is watching this video might consider. I know it's been mentioned a couple times, but I think it'd be kind of cool to give you a couple more options on the battle, you know, so you're not just rocking out with the same, you know, iron sights, provided the iron sights on this look really sick too. I really enjoy firing it from there. But uh, again, you know, I, I, I don't know what it is, but, um, you know, games that allow you to customize your gear just, in my opinion, just are, they blow my mind, man. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> everybody, I hope everyone's, like I'm saying, just, uh, you know, not getting sick. I mean, there's a, been a bad cold that's been passing around through not only just my job, but even in school, everybody's been sniffing and sniffling and, and coughing. And <laughs> I almost said everybody's sniffing. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, it's the cold. I believe it on the cold. But uh, overall, you know, it's just, it's always good to take your vitamins, eat your vegetables. <laughs> Don't mess around. Uh, really nice kill. You can see that the berserkers here that I'm rocking with are just moving constantly. And that's the best thing. When you're constantly moving, you're a really hard target. And it's very hard at this point to get swarmed when you're constantly on the go. I know that some of you guys have been like, well, bro, why don't you use your, you know, medic nades? 
because we're constantly on the move, unless I find an area where we absolutely need to block off some Zeds and we need to go ahead and heal up quickly, I usually can rely upon my medic darts, you know, and you can see that I'm only using two out of the total of four, you know, SMGs to be able to get the job done. You know, I think the M7A3 is actually a, uh, a battle rifle, but I'm not 100% sure. It doesn't matter. I'm not into statistics. All I do know is that, you know, it is, uh, it's definitely one of those things that, uh, you know, that it, as long as you're healing darts consistently, then you don't really have to worry too much about the nades. You know, one more tip that I can definitely suggest is don't get frustrated if you are missing your nade darts. I've, you know, I've had some times where, like, I'll get the green smoke to indicate that my dart has actually hit a player, but it actually won't even heal them. So the one thing that you kind of want to do is make sure that you are spamming those darts and mass. I know I mentioned that in a previous medic video. I don't know whether this one or on Sermonary Divide, the old channel. But regardless, if if you can continue spamming more, like I'd probably say, if you want to heal one player one time, I would probably say you can definitely bet you'd want to be able to send two darts their way. At least one of them should be able to hit. And again, you know, with like I was saying earlier, if you have multiple healing dart SMGs, you know, like the MP5, MP7, and possibly the Chris Vector or the Schneidzek, then that should give you the option to be able to have enough darts you'll never run out. You know, that's an important thing. Now take a look at the awesome, awesome, I'm talking just, just how smooth this gun is, man. I'm telling you, you get in game, you start practicing a little bit of your twitch shots, bro, and you will have no reduce in your aim down in sight, aim down sight or ADS. Reason why that's so crucial is because it allows you to play that point man role where you're actually breaching forward and taking out the small guys so your Zerkers can focus on some of the big minion guys. It, it is really, really an awesome tool in your disposal. And I think it if you really look at that in the big picture, I mean, you know, it is 1,300 pounds. That's a lot. And, you know, for the most part, you know, most players aren't going to be, you know, saving up for it. But if you tell your team, hey, listen, man, I and pretty high speed with this weapon i want to go in and save up usually even in a pub situation they'll probably help you save it but take a look at just the reliability of it alone you can see how quick it mops up enemies and if you have good precision based shots you're good at twitch shooting you know this is going to be right up your alley you just see how quick it is it pulls out quick it deploys quickly and you can get it in the fight very quickly now the reload time is where it kind of suffers but with a high capacity mag like that with 50 rounds in it you can't really go wrong with it in my opinion so it, you know it's just one of those things that in killing floor in this game specifically you know just burst fire don't go you know don't go too hardcore i know that you're very tempted i mean myself sometimes i'm like i just want to just go spray this thing because it sounds so badass man you know <laughs> but i'd only do that if you have situations where you have a scrape grinding on you or even have like a uh, flesh pound and I know that some, some one of you guys is going to be like, hey, bro, where's your M14? Where's your M14? Well, <laughs> straight up, guys, um, I joined the game late, actually, so I wanted to make sure that I had all of the tools at my disposal to keep these berserkers alive, mainly because, you know, the M14, although it is a nice weapon to have, you know, you don't really necessarily need it if you have a strong team full of berserkers. Keep in mind now, right here, you're going to see that I go ahead and switch out and actually try to draw the aggro to myself. You're going to see another video with uh, actually Mr. Grave Rose, where we actually kite, I think it's Abusement Park, together. And I'll be demonstrating some aggro switches that you can do to keep your team alive when you have a lot more squishy teammates. So basically with wave 10 cleared now, it's very easy to be able to move on to the Patriarch fight. And I was thinking about maybe doing like a Patriarch slap down like I did on Serenity Divide. But I'm like, you know what, dude, this is like in the moment. We've got everything going. We got the momentum. We got the tempo set. Yeah, there you go. Full auto Chris Vector. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and uh, I said, you know what, let's just go and put this all together and make it like a complete sort of like battle in a way. So if there's like like longer footage because I only have a 15 minute li limit for my upload speed or upload limit whatever you want to call it basically if I ever have videos that overextend and I want to go and demonstrate more than uh, what is available in that time frame then I probably might do a patriarch slap down series as well if you know enough people request it right here you're gonna see us just literally slap the crap out of him bios doing an excellent job uh, unfortunately one of our uh, berserkers went ahead and jumped in a little too close and ended up triggering the Patriarch's brand new like slash around in a 360 degree angle and it, does, it just does massive damage and it, it was actually to counter the chainsaw exploit that happened a long time ago but again it's all in the past you can just see how quick that thing mops up I love fighting 
you know, gore fast and stalkers and, and, and crawlers. It's just insane how fast that thing kills. And uh, I, I really enjoy the new Chris weapon. And I got to say props to Tripwire. They constantly keep us updated with the new updates. You know, I mean, the game's pushing a lot. It's just, it's pushing. It's pushing the limit, dude. And these guys are going above and beyond, which is really interesting. And guys, although this is unrelated to Killing Floor, he's a great Killing Floor player that I like to play with as well. Mr. Todd Fox, just want to say thank you so much, bro. Quick shout out to you for getting me Dead Island. The reason why I'm mentioning this right now is because I've never played Dead Island. It's something that I've always wanted to give a try to. I haven't installed it yet. Would you guys like to join me on an adventure on my first couple steps in game? Uh, if you do, just let me know. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We killed the Patriarch pretty quickly, as you can see, with great teamwork. It was an awesome public game. And if if y'all want to see some more, definitely let me know, y'all. This is Sorry signing out. Art of Medic Gameplay with the Chris Vector. Peace out, everybody.